Okay, I had to modify this 12 inch travel dub to take a 12 and a half inch full size blank. So, I had to, I usually use my collimation bolts, go down and through and pull up the frame. But this time I went, took the bolt, went up through and made it be for 516 18s and have a through thumb knob on here. I got a beefier spring. You know, for a lightweight mirror, I'd probably use a 070 something wire. And this is, I think, 0.1 inch wire. So it's rated three times. Each, each one of these springs is rated three times the mirror weight. The mirror weight is 22 pounds. So this is like 60, rated at 60 pounds. I put a spacer in here because this is a three inch spring and it compresses. It's not fully compressed, but it's almost fully compressed. So the spacer helps keep it close to fully compressed. Here's my rocker bars. I gotta loosen them up a little bit. And the edge support over here, I had to space it out. I have a, I don't have a nut, so I just threw in a wing nut on top of the 516 screw that goes through there. And these are nine, I mean, or 10, 24, nylon screws and you can see they're very compliant so as you tilt the mirror up the mirror box up the mirror wants to fall forward this should go forward with the mirror and not pull back on the mirror and create stick but that's a full blank I mean that's a big blank for such a just a 12 and a half I'm not really worried about and let me go get the blank and put it in here Okay, now I just dropped the blank in there. It was kind of hairy because it's really tight around the aperture. So I had to like lift it up. 22 pounds of glass. I had to lift it up and support it from underneath as I drop it down so this doesn't smack all over the place. And you can see, let me see. This is all touches, nothing loose. The edge support's not bad either. Lift it up. And you can see that is it centered? Almost. It's pretty good. These gotta be cut down. I just used that to rough it in. I had to rush at Home Depot and get six inches because I couldn't find the exact length. So it'll be cut down. Um so it's still pretty heavy, but it's you can look. I gotta lift it up with ah, one hand. Not bad for a full blank. I like to look at the edge support. With the edge support, with the nylon screws this way, they are compliant enough. So as this, you know, on the very micro level starts to pull away from the back support the nylon screws will be compliant and bend with it so it won't pull on the edge and keep it back and potato chip but this is a really thick blank anyway two and a quarter for a 12 and a half inch not bad I like it